We're live now, correct? I assume we are. We're back with another episode of the Whiskey Untitled today. We're back with two of our favorite. Uh, could you guys hear Charles's flam flam flam, which was very lackluster? You really got a flam flam flam. You got you got you got you got to bring it. Anyways, uh, we've got Charles and we've got Bianca and we've got myself and we're gonna be talking about barrels. Which kind of barrels? Well, you're just gonna have to watch the show to find out what kind of barrels. But everybody's barrels. Everybody's barrels. Your barrels, my barrels. Ninety nine barrels of whiskey on the wall. Ninety nine barrels of whiskey. Don't drop them take one down you sell it to your whiskey club and you market it under a strange sticker um barrels Bam. yes boom donkey kong barrels i love that they gotta be exploding barrels like so there must be whiskey inside there i mean i don't know if that's the kind of whiskey barrels i want to buy though you know i'll be like oh my god i'm so the excited kind that were... in my front door rum barrels okay. though. yeah no they're the kind that are used in attempted murder that's exactly the kind of barrels you want to get okay no. hey everybody no, no. Maybe. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hello everybody hi dr hi. nick all right but yeah no um no simpsons yes. fans well, I don't know, man. Have you read that whole thing about Apu and stuff like that? And uh, that I was on the spiral last night reading all about. He's like a voice actor for that too. So. Oh, you mean like all the um, the Indian friends I grew up with overseas that just didn't care and thought it was hilarious. Like yeah, and then you got all the Americans ones. It was different. Yeah. Yeah, it's only white women who are offended. It's a whole different issue. That's not what the show is about. Welcome to the Whiskey and Title. Boom. Ah. And on uh, this week's episode, we're going to talk about like whiskey clubs. Community Ooh, bottlings and stuff like that. I think some of you guys, at least I guess, at least I have whiskey is also part of one of those. So maybe even hopefully have some information in the chat from him. But yeah. Shalom. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom. And Shalom. Hello, Drew. Since L'chaim. we haven't done this, well, we did this last week, so we're fine. What's in your glasses, guys? Who wants to go first? Mm-hmm. You go first, Ooh. Charles. Me? You go first. Yeah, and then um, we'll go counterclockwise. Okay, sounds good. Um, So last night, a buddy of mine... um. So I was just asking, like, what he, what's he sipping on? He's out on vacation, and he grabbed a bottle of the Glenfiddich IPA. Ooh. And he Why was is a big fan of that. Um, and I told him, hey, man, it's experimental. You know, it's going to go away someday. Make sure you get a couple bottles, you know, just in case. And then he's like, which one do you like of that right. release? And I was like, the Project 20 was my favorite. Mm-hmm. Not oh, the IPA. Toast, toast. So, I, li- um, I like that one a lot. I really enjoyed this one. I was like, all right, why not? Why not grab it and uh, try it again? So mm-hmm. that's what's in my glass today. Nice. Cheers. Bianca? Well, actually, I'm doing eight weeks of no drinking. Um, just, <gasps> uh, just for good eight detox. Weeks. So on my glass. Show us your glass. Fancy my glass bubbly is water. Bubbly yeah, that's water. So as period. I'm taking off gas, no gas. The, the whiskey, I, I drink a lot of soda water and mineral water and all that stuff. And it's delicious. I like the Kirkland uh, soda water. I drink. I have that a lot at home. I haven't had it yet. Pretty no. good. I like. I for some reason I'm addicted to uh, Perrier, but I also, I don't know, whatever I can get. Sparkling, yeah. give it to me. Walter. Voss sparkling. It's very delicious. The Voss water. I love it. It's good. I love Voss water. This is not a water show. This is a whiskey show. So sorry to disappoint you guys. I mm-hmm. promise you, I do. I did buy a whiskey bottle though. Because if it was a water show, we'd be talking about the hundred dollar water that we're not going to name. <laughs> Well, Delmar is um, basically uh-huh. evening out things for you, so he's drinking all the whiskey you're not drinking. So there you go. Oh, so eight okay, weeks awesome. of binge drinking, eight weeks, uh, eight weeks of not oh, drinking. Oh, it's I like this. This is a balance. I like this. Go. All right, perfect. Done, it's a cross maybe share stories. Yeah. yeah, one of you will be sharing stories like this. This Perry is delicious. The other one of you will be sharing stories like this. We've got a lemon. And then somewhere in the middle are the rest of us sitting like. Watching the two is like wow, contrast. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, let's talk. Reach, reach out to me, DM me. Let's we, we we might make make a good balance. I'm Walter watching yours. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Not yeah. Good. good timing. Good timing. Mm. This is a glass. What did I take a picture of today? Oh, Stag Junior. Stag. There it is. Oh, Stag Junior. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> that made me. You made you made that picture and everything looks so delicious i was Very like creamy this is sexy this is sexy put some vaseline this on that lens mood. 
That, <laughs> that's like an old 80s trick. That's gross. Yeah. Is that like oh, people do that, man. Make that haze, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what you tell the ladies if you're a photographer. I can't wait to go home and lube my lens. There you go. <laughs> the telescopic one. You know. Make sure it's right one. Mm, no mm. prime lens here. Lady, this is a 500 millimeter 28. Zoom lens, yeah. It's Ooh. both long and girthy. It's actually a huge lens that cost ten thousand dollars. Anyways, Jesus. make sure you got the lens protector on, right? Just saying. Always I use protection. Don't make me bust out my lens, though, right? Because you know, mine's Always pretty big use too. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> Votary. Wait, there's. Is there really DIY soda water? I thought people just use a, like Soda Stream. Yeah, Soda Stream. This is DIY. You get yeah, a. But you don't make soda water with it, right? You you make Coke, right? No, you can put just water, bu bubbly water, and water. bubbly water. Yeah. I think I might. I, I think I is might that... uh, invest in, in one of those soda water makers. I kind of want one too. But um, yeah, like I Ben said, the Kirkland I'm Costco gonna soda water. Google thing. it. I didn't even know. Ooh, I might. Costco I might had like hard this water. Right now, while on the show on Amazon. <laughs> there you go. How much are the CO two anyway. cartridges though? No. So what you do is oh you you hack it. You actually get a CO two tank. And you can get an attachment, so you just do a tank instead of the paying for the cartridges all the time. Oh, right. is it is it a cheaper than argon tank? Like, how big are the tanks? Like, 80, 80 gallons? Decent size. Oh, that's tiny. But it'll last you the whole time, dude. You're fine. No, you can literally buy a giant CO2 tank for, like, that they use for welding. And, like... Too far, bro. No, you could save can save some... <laughs> Is there such a thing? What? Say what? Can we make sparkling whiskey? Yeah. That's already been done, right? Yeah. Uh, like, highball. Isn't a highball the same thing? Yeah, highball yeah, is the same thing. Yeah, but uh, it's just a watered down. Yeah, Votary, send me a pick. I want to see it. At least I'll I have whiskey better than feeding rum right? cast. Maybe 50 50 of it. You know, 50 water, 50 whiskey. Yeah. And see if it goes. And then. 50 50 is a high ratio. Water. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. pretty boozy, but then you just you add more water, uh, sparkling water to it to even it out. Because you want to have that whiskey we... flavor. Why don't we just drink the water to cleanse the palate and then drink the whiskey? Uh, sure, and I'll just like fine. If anyway, you told want you drinking <laughs> club soda too. Is everybody doing dry April? Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, whiskey yeah, barrel. Yeah, not April. April. Pride, but is there a reason why you're going dry? Um, I'm pregnant. Okay, no, cool. No, no. Good for you. <laughs> no. uh, she's Good like, for I'm only you. going dry for eight weeks just to see <laughs> if the baby will <laughs> make it. <laughs> Well, we don't horrible. we don't see what's below there, so you never know. She'd be having baby bumps since you know. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no bumps. No, no, no. no I you just, noticed. I, I'm trying to. I just want to trim down. Like, want to get, get more serious about my workouts and my my okay. diet and some of that. So, I don't know if you know. I, like, I work out like a lot, so I just want to see my results a little bit better. And, Interesting. And, yeah. and you can get those results by not drinking whiskey. Challenge. Yeah. I know a lot of people that <laughs> stop drinking beer it's for that reason. So. Yeah. No, but whiskey never, doesn't but have oh anything bad going on in it. <laughs> whiskey is literally good for you. I, Lowers yeah. the risk of stroke immensely. I may, I may consume more than I share on the show. So more that's, whiskey, that's Doctor Walter. Mm -hmm. That explains mm -hmm. the private texts. That's very that explains yeah. a lot actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I drink maybe twice a week now because of COVID. Like, <laughs> yeah, two three times I'm a week. That's more than enough. But now that I know it's good for you, I might try beat. to. I have you I'm gonna try to push for once a day. <laughs> yeah. I definitely have you both beat. So. Yeah. Told it doesn't matter what's dry. Everything's dry if you really. I don't know where I'm going with that. All right, guys. Well, um, to move along the conversation. What... Hold on, Ben's talking yeah. about dragon's milk. Can you milk a dragon? Do, do dragons have nipples? Did I miss something? I didn't. Oh, if well... it has nipples, I guess you. I mean. They... Could well, milk it. Well, I mean, the Targaryens had they, nipples, right? Producing? So... Wait, so is the dragon in human form? Because a lot of them could convert to humans. Are you talking about like a human female dragon? Yeah, there you go. Must be. Or is it just like Satan in dragon form? Different ways, more different ways than I thought this would. <laughs> Does a Komodo dragon have nipples? No. Let's Google this. Let's Google this. Do you come on? I'm not gonna do it from a don't, computer. Don't don't Google phone. it if you can't actually pull it up and put it on the screen because we're all gonna want to know. Yeah, you don't want you oh. there. But anyway, do you guys have any bottles this week? Dang, Jen? told it. Told us having a, an amazing sounding cocktail i am super jealous right now pound three that does sound really good though rum and apple juice and, apple juice. and votary founders i'm always down for founders is that the new bottle you got or is that the oh no that's not what i'm drinking yeah i just opened it yesterday it's a new bottle it's not what, what i'm it? drinking but uh look 
amazing. The dragon. I, I can tell you the answer about the dragon. Sorry to, to distract no, no. you. Dragon, All you lizards type... do not have nipples. Not if dragons exist, they are lizards. That's... Their dragons are reptiles. So Only no mammals memory. have nipples. That's why I asked if you were talking about a dragon in human form. Because when dragons convert to yeah. humans, I don't know how many convert yeah. to females, but they've got to have nipples. Oh, like platypuses Lord. have nipples, don't they? <laughs> Platypi? Because <laughs> they're mammals. Marsupials. Mm-hmm. Can this is your bottle? Oh, you got any bottles? You got any bottles that you'd like to share, Bianca, instead of um, last week? That's what you bought this week. I didn't buy it, but I'm gonna give my friend stuff since he brought it for me. Also, this is amazing, and the cake is not good. The cake is good, and that's amazing. They're both amazing and for different reasons. We all have different taste buds. Don't try to push your taste buds on all of us. Anywho, I'm very excited. I got this bottle. It took like it was a like a a big ordeal for me to grab this one. What Can you is see it? it correctly? It's, yeah, what it's is Kenya. It says it's Kenya. Polygon, Polygon oh, it does say Kenya. Kenya. Okay. Oops, I'm rotating the different way. You see? Kenya by Paul, it even has. Paul John. Okay, so. It's Kanye um, by Paul John. <laughs> and it's uh, the Virgo symbol up top. It's Kenya. It says Kanye. It's an A, right? Not okay. A. It's it's a, it's a new Yeezy whiz- whiskey bottle. It's a new by Yeezy Paul John. Whiskey Damn. Bottle. Went up in price. With matching by Nikes? With matching Nikes and with the blood of your enemies? Matching Adidas, if we're being, if we're, we're yes. being, uh, it's Adidas. So I'm, so I'm really excited about getting this one. I was able to grab it for, I mean, I guess 100 euros or something like that okay. um, from some somebody like the single malt guy. Uh, he recommended me to, uh, to this place that they were selling it. But point being is that two blocks away from my house, they're selling it for 600 dollars. So I'm like, uh, I was why? Really, yeah, yeah. So is it when, I wanted when to get you two of them, it? but I was only I only was managed to get one. And the one of the reasons why I got it like a little bit slightly discounted was because the box that came in is uh like this. Doesn't matter. But yeah, I don't care. I want to I want to buy another. Yeah, I want to actually buy another one so I can save it because I'm a Virgo and I'm uh obviously I I'm a, I am self absorbed like that that I want to have a whiskey bottle. So back my, to the, my, please, the please don't sign. Please don't put all Virgos in your pile. <laughs> I do. I no, do. Please don't. That's do why that. we're friends. That's why we're friends. I keep you. Oh, <laughs> so I'm very excited to. This is going to be one of the bottles I want to crack after the eight weeks. So, okay. Yeah. That'd be fun. Excited to hear your notes about it and see if you like it or not. Yeah, I'm gonna try to collect a little bit every like every week, eight bottles. That'd be cool, like one one bottle a week. So I can. Um, didn't you also get the Christmas editions, nineteen and twenty? Oh, I did. I totally did. Why didn't you tell I anybody about those new bottles? Why did I have because to hear like, that, that from Drew? What? What is? Why? Why is Drew sharing all my Thanks, business? Thanks, Drew. What else she got? Drew, else can got you just the... tell us the rest so we know where to find your house and rob it? <laughs> a lot yeah. of a lot of bottles. Uh, I just just sometimes get embarrassed to share them. It's just a, a lot. Oh, like, are you embarrassed by some of your bottles? Do they know that? What kind of a no, mom are no, you? I, I I love them enough to not like uh you know. Dangle them around in front of everybody, you know. But they're not—they're not that impressive. They're not like oh, like a rare Macallan from like nineteen twenty. I don't know. I'm just, you know, nothing like that. Ooh, they're just the ones it? I like, and I, I enjoy. Have that? Uh, Bianca and uh, Walter, I think it'd be good for you. Uh, Delmar asked, which distillery is better, Paul John or Am? Paul John or Am? Oh, me and my brother. Oh, that's wait. Did we already I like do the Paul Indian John? Interview? Um, but I think I—I I think I like Paul John because they have for oh, I think a wider array of. Uh, for your palate like it depends like they have different expressions like I, I like the fact that they have a wider range of flavors and profiles in their whiskeys amroot i think is completely different and uh i think they're a little bit also they're very sophisticated amroot uh but uh, yeah that's there it just kind of bores me after a while i think they oh they wow all have tasted it. yeah how to tell somebody there. hasn't tried amroot intermediate sherry any sorry then it shows. I no, admit it's a- though that Paul John's got a lot of a lot more marketing strength compared to Amroot. I see them a lot more than Amroot, but I haven't t- tried them side by side to Paul John. give a better. Oh, way before Paul John, and I just I don't know. They just I just like that I have I have more variety, and I think it offers a lot more to based on the occasion and your great. palate. Yeah. Delmarva, in eight days. On youtube.com slash scotch and sniff, there will be a video about Indian whiskey specifically because we made one and 
I hope you watch it and enjoy it and learn about the difference between Ramper, Paul John, and Amroot because the biggest thing Paul John has going for it, obviously, is the Manuka honey style flavor that they do. But uh, Amroot is pretty freaking good. I love it too. I'm not saying he asked me for my favorite. I I have a favorite. You know, just like how you like you like uh, you don't like heated stuff or you don't like I do. the cake. I have our bag. So cake's yeah, not heated. You don't like cake. I know, but I love cake and as well. Oh my god, move on, whiskey. move on, Walter, please. <laughs> Alrighty, so since we got that out of the way, sadly no bottles for me this week. Uh, my buddy over in the chat has two of my bottles, so I need to pick those up soon. Um, cast clubs and community bottlings. Um, I just been. Damn. I had a whiskey tasting a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Westward have a um, whiskey club, which I thought was interesting because, um, as you know, I'm in Oregon. There's a lot of wine clubs around. And I've, this is the first time I've seen um, an actual brand do a whiskey club where you get a, a couple of bottles every quarter from their special casts that they release. And I was wondering if brands should do this. And then... On the other side, we have people like at least we have whiskey with uh was it taste sip repeat, mm-hmm. where they have like a group collective kind of picking whiskeys for the community. So like, there's a lot. It seems like there should be more of these types around, not just these independent bottlers, but these collective groups that I feel so we can trust them a bit more <laughs> than um independent bottlers because they're actually going in there. You can reach out to them. They're very open. So yeah, what do you guys? What do you guys think that um, – well, first, do you guys believe in whiskey clubs, and do you think brands should do this in the first place? Or do you want me to give more information Please. on what, you, what do I What's talk about? What's the definition of a whiskey club? All right, so yeah. – like, Okay, it's so – Scott Small Whiskey Society. Different different when you club? shared it earlier, yeah. Yeah. So for me, like, so I'm just w- working off this Westward one where it's kind of like a wine type thing where every quarter you get a couple of bottles reserved for you for a certain amount of payment, right? It's usually, let's say the bottle was 100, it goes like down to 50 or something, right, for a bottle. Where I feel as though this has to be a larger whiskey company too that's producing a lot more barrels because of the fact that the aging process is, you know, three, four, five, six years where they come up with special editions. So Westward, as both of you guys mm-hmm. know, you've gotten, I think both of you guys have gotten bottles from them. Um, they have like the mm-hmm. women's expression and so on. So every quarter they'll come up with one or four other unique expressions one made with special yeasts or special casts that you guys get the first pick from and then it goes to general public right so let's say you pay you know and um you pay 150 instead of 300 for these three bottles every quarter so they get the money up front from you guys where you guys get those three i won't say random bottles but cast bottles i would do that like if they had that There, like, there are some really specific distilleries out there. If they did that, I would, I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah, and this is where I'm thinking, like, if if you were a, a medium sized brand, like, for you, for instance, Walter, I think Berkeley would be a big one for you, right? Like, you would just Done. jump on it, right? Yeah, so, no, like, I just pay full price of those bottles. I feel as though that it has to be in your region, <laughs> though, like for shipping purposes. So it'd have to be like a distillery in your area or an American distillery or something like that. Mm. But that it for one, it gives these businesses money to spend on these casts and the infrastructure and so forth and it also gives you a unique unique spin on a bottle right like oh we picked these random three barrels that no one's ever tried before you guys are the first ones trying it and so on and if they have enough members basically mm-hmm. the whole cask is gone that's legit that's actually a really good idea, idea. Yeah, that's, that's what they idea. have here so yeah when, it, when you we first spoke about it like offline yeah. i kind of was like i was a little bit confused about it but yeah. what you were saying because i actually hadn't noticed that before i haven't been no, involved with any of this yeah. but i think that's pretty great i think it's a great way to get more people interested into your brand and the ones that already do love it allow them to to maybe you know get the first pick or you know learn about first things like a, you know the, like the first taste of oh, that's interesting. Uh, so, so ben has so uh, i think it's good yeah ben hey, has ben, a local distillery does it which distillery is that is that the one that did the the wally <laughs> but yeah like like for me like if scottish brands did that like I would basically just give them my money. Like, here's three hundred, four hundred dollars yeah, every quarter. Who's doing that where you are? You said Westward. Westward's doing it. Westward, yeah. I'm yeah. literally thinking about giving that. you money so that you can just ship it to me. Yep. So yeah, there's one thing that I feel as though that if you're not in the area that you lose out on. Adventure sales, yeah. And this is what happens with wineries, right? So like here, it has um, when you pay, I think it's like uh, two hundred seventy dollars a quarter, right? So you get three mm-hmm. bottles for that price. So that's just pretty good. You get like what thirty to forty dollars off. Um, 
you get first access to events, which, you know, during COVID, that's not the best thing in the world, but, you know. <laughs> um, club release parties, which is another one. And then you and three guests get to go into their vault tasting, which is like their random stuff where you get to go into their their dunnages and try cool. stuff, which I think is cool. That sounds amazing. And then yeah. um, you get their Westward experiences, which is like their tour, which is like $120. Mm-hmm. So you get you and three guests. And then they give you free shipping on orders, which I think is amazing. That's so fun. for you guys, wait, free shipping on orders to anywhere? To anywhere in the U.S. Yeah. Oh wait, so I, sh- oh, I can't just join. You can just do it yourself. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah. So like, imagine the join, big yeah. the, the big whiskey companies in your area. Like, like I would love Westland to do that because like I buy their cast stuff anyway. But mm-hmm. like being able to go there and get these weird handpicked stuff, and if you're a fan of whatever whiskey, imagine like Glenfiddich doing that, or Balvini, or yes, Macallan, or something. One of those like that. other. How, would be amazing. But how much money yeah. would that cost, honestly? Like, no, but think about at it, least a thousand dollars. The economies of scale, like how many people are going to be members? It's going to drop. No, the, and they're going to make barrels just for members. You know that. That's the thing. But then, like, mm-hmm. how much money are they going to charge for members to be? members well yeah, it depends right like if you want cast tiers. strength or yeah, tiers be, and yeah. Stuff. even for Pinnick, my first thought was over a thousand dollars and then when you said mccallan yeah. i was like well that got to five thousand dollars quickly but how many bottles for five thousand for a one. year <laughs> one every quarter you think just one yeah, yeah and weird random dunnage tastings and like, that's, what like, yeah. okay. that's what mccallan gets like, you get one random dunnage tasting a year so mccallan if that, you, do you don't that, get a bottle three you memberships just go around for all three of us all right just fyi if that works three memberships but like we're we're laying it out for you. People would throw That's the money same that donation way, they made for an actual organization, and here we are asking for barrels. <laughs> but like, you know that they would like just make stuff just for the memberships, which would be great because then you can just like, hey, we yeah. can toss this weird stuff in, and these are the people that are enthusiasts about it. And I don't know, I think it'd be pretty cool. Sorry, I'm gonna read all the comments. I think it'd be good. But yeah, yeah. Bianca, what, like if you had to choose, like what what brand would you wanna wanna get those things? If, if oh my gosh. Them? So you actually mentioned two of my top favorites, which are Balvini and, and Glyphitic. I, I just love them so much. Uh, Brooklatic I also like, but I think I would definitely, I mean, I would, I would, I could just commit to Glyphitic and for that membership. If we, it was a good assortment. I would just be there. Um, but also, um, I think some of like the local American ones, uh, I mean, any of the anything in in the bourbon trail, I would would happy happily like. Yeah, I think those bourbon people would. To. Oh well, that'd be so cool. It'd be a bit difficult. Just because for me, it's so difficult to acquire anything from yeah. that's like good bourbon. Because Miami, we receive nothing. Everything goes to the West Coast for the most part, so that like it's worth having. So I would be like, yes, finally, I can I can get access to to good uh, good whiskey at a reasonable price. That's great. That that would be pretty cool though, like for a bourbon. But like, I don't know how much experimentation well, they would do for them to. It'd probably be like batches, yeah. right? Like or like special parts. Yeah, it'll be batches. It'll be different, totally different. Walter, why are you wearing those glasses? I'm sorry, what? That'd those glasses different. you were wearing, you just took off. Not sure what you're talking about. Oh jeez. But now Votary is making a really good point. Balconis, I would be down for that too. There are. Dang, there, yeah, man, you guys are really making me think about a lot of brands that if they had something like that, a program like mm-hmm. that, where you could get into like, oh, we have special bottlings and you just pay X dollars and then you get the special bottlings each year. That's I what wineries do. And I'm surprised, like, I think this broke. is where Westward got their stuff from is like the wineries, wineries do it because shipping for wine is very different than well, shipping for like, for I don't know, literally yeah. everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Prices. Price isn't a thing because for wine people, they're like, I'm just going to buy 30 bottles. And then all of a sudden they spent $200. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between that and a regular person who's going to, they're going to buy $200 and they're going to buy these bottles for two, three mm-hmm. months. Yep. What's the difference between that and a whiskey person buying two bottles for two, three months? That's not yep. crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just interesting. I'm like, I was like, when I saw it, I was like, why don't more companies do this? Because like, if you're a fan of that company, like it make, it's a no brainer. Like, you know that oh. the juice is going to be def- decent. So, Tolv makes a good point though. It does cost the brand time and money to make this happen so they probably have to dedicate yeah. a position for that so now your membership is going towards paying somebody to curate barrels and but that's how like costco the makes all their money and stuff like that's so in the memberships not in the experience f- though you know I mean? like, right it's in like member experience like, yeah but the, that's you know like, Co- it's marketing also costco's like smwsa without the shipping costs what they do is you charge a membership up front and everything inside 
is very aggressively Discounted. priced at so. correct at just above whatever they determine when they make deals with brands. But like you gotta think about it this way: you're getting a, a slight discount, let's say like a twenty thirty dollar discount per bottle. And yeah, then you're talking about fifty percent off. Shipping. You're and talking about fifty percent off and no shipping. I'm I'm in for that. Delmarva, yeah. brand club membership. Yeah, no, I'm afraid of committing to a brand, but if you could do yeah. it just like quarterly. And most I'm, can I'm most most of them do. I don't know if this one does, but most of them have like I know winer wineries anyway. It's like you only have to sign up for a year, so it's just two payments and that's it. Oh, okay, so, that's not yeah. bad. And the, but two the pay- big thing with wine is the fact that you can do go tastings and you get free tasters. So and then you buy your bottles and stuff or you pick up the bottles. So that, yeah, Ben, I'm on I'm on that side. I mean, I agree, Tolv. It's going to cost okay. money, but yes. I am on the side that like the revenue upside is definitely going to be there because you're essentially uh, guaranteeing those sales and if those are people that already like your stuff odds yeah. are good they're still gonna buy your regular bottles anyways and i think that's what it is like to to make this thing work you got to have a decent spirit that people are like okay i trust blind tasting these things holy yeah. shnikes is that true for brew dog i don't even know who brew dog is but good lord a membership program that raised a hundred million what there you go I, I, to be honest i think i think it's way it's, it's upfront payments a lot of companies do this so yeah, that's a thing. And like it's more difficult with whiskey because you're not you you can't guarantee flavor like you can with a lot of other products. Yeah. And like I, I said, mean, even, you're gonna have to have a lot of barrels stored already to fund this program for the next four or five years well, to see how it goes. That's every whiskey brand, right? They yeah. just need barrels stored for everything anyways for the next yeah. four or five years. So. Dang. But yeah, all right. I and did, then um wow. let's let's go into um it seems like this is something that I guess we're all interested in. Um let's go into yeah, the community. What is bottlings and stuff like that like i'm seeing you know um at least have whiskey and his team doing stuff like this like do you feel this is more connected to our community than a let's say independent bottler this community driven um selections i think because it's easier to believe who are you going to believe somebody that knows your palate and you know their palate or Mm -hmm. 29 Um, people's reviews on the back of his cosmo society bottle or reviews on the back of that dalmore bottle that's different a different juice, dude. I'm just no, I'm just saying you've got OB, you've got IB, and then you've got like community sourced samples and how those are gonna be in terms of flavors. Like you're yeah. getting closer to yourself, and so it's easier to trust right. because it's not like, okay, this giant company Dalmore, nobody there knows me, nobody knows what's going on palette wise, nobody really cares, they just want your my money. And then you go to an IB and you're like, Well, these guys are kinda looking out for the little guy, they're sourcing barrels, but at the end of the day, they're also a business trying to make money, which is why shipping is fifty dollars a bottle. And then on the other other hand, you've got this small group, a couple of people or a club, and they're like, "Hey, we sourced a couple barrels. We just need people to buy into it." And then you get added to a weird group on Facebook with these people in Kentucky, mm-hmm. and then you find yourself buying four bottles of Wilderness Trail that you didn't know existed, but then you got them in the mail and you had to put the stickers <laughs> on yourself. And then once you put the stickers on and you tasted the first bottle, it tasted a lot like you ginger. Look great. Yeah. It was real weird. Yeah. Was it good or like, bad? It was weird. It wasn't. I haven't had a bad Wilderness Trail, but this pick that they did, they were bragging about how different it was from Wilderness Trail, and oh, it was just weird. It delivered. It was different. Oh, it delivered. <laughs> Where it you delivered. Been, you know, how, how do you feel? Um, this is another one of those questions that today, like you were asking, I was like, oh no, I, I, I'm not into it. But when you like, when I remember, like I think about, like, okay, you know what, like. I think about it, like I actually like it more than independent bo- bottlers, just like kind of like what uh, Wally was saying. Not just because of the price, actually. I actually like following the story behind seeing like people who I know or even you know that how they're selecting the bottles. It feels more personalized, and you know you, you piques at least my interest a little bit more. Like okay, like they they took the time to select this. Why are they selecting it like this instead of like the other format? You know, they put the whole like, compa- like they put like a whole like little backstory on it. I really like that. And it's not just, uh, it's not just Pierre. It's, you know, other, other groups that I follow that, that do this and it's pretty neat. And then you're kind of wondering like, I would love to participate in one of those things. You know, you start thinking like, okay, how, you know, how, how can you become friends with them and start doing that too? Cause you also want to see how you can collaborate. Not just not not just anything. It just it makes you feel like, like wow, this seems like such a great experience, and it also piques your interest. I want to try this bottle, uh, because it sounds special. The only part I don't like about it is when I like when I enjoy something, I want to have several bottles of it, you know. And I feel like that 
makes me a little bit anxious. Like I don't want to, I don't want to enjoy it too much, you know, because there's only a select few. Yeah, I know. A, a, like for store picks anyway, I know a lot of them. Like a lot of people that go on their tours or whatever invest a decent amount of money where they have to buy five or ten bottles. Like I'm assuming that's part of why why he has four of them that he picked. But um... no, I was just helping out. No, there was a group and they. <laughs> <laughs> they needed to fill the rest of the slots for the barrel that they had. They bought two barrels. Yeah. So they were asking other membership groups, and I'm in a Maryland bourbon group. So they were like, hey, if anybody wants to get on on this barrel, and they know how I feel about, you know, yeah. Wilderness Trail, I was like, yeah, I'll get it on it. And then when they told me it was only $70 shipped, I was in on it. Yeah. And then when they came back to me a month later and told me they finally got the barrel done and that it was going to be 20 for shipping and handling, I was like, Wait. That's... and Fresh I was like, whatever. Change. Um, it was okay. Another twenty yeah, no, like, and, and I've been hearing stories, and I don't know how. I, hopefully, um, Pierre is still in this chat, but I've heard that, um, like, I think it was like uh, Maker's Mark, where they give you here's five barrels you pick. I'm wondering how his team and group or other yeah. community groups go and take. Hey, do they just go? You just go into the thing and they say, hey, these are all the casts you could try. Just try a bunch of them, or do they hand pick ones that I guess couldn't sell to other people? They're trying to sell because they're. I've heard stories where like. Dude, three of the bottles were trash, and you know they were trying to push those. And two other ones, like they s- tasted amazing compared to the other ones. So, so yeah, depends on the said, okay. depends on yeah, the depends But on it does. Yeah. some distilleries, they literally give you a drill and give you teach you how to do plugs, and then they tell you go find the barrel that you want. Yeah. So it really mm-hmm. does depend on which distillery. Um, yeah. Del Marva had said they had difficulty sourcing barrels as many of the Kentucky distilleries are committed to stores, bars, and restaurants. We have to remember, like we're sure. whiskey enthusiasts, so we buy lots of bottles. But the majority of the money they're going to make is on prem, yeah. so that's where lots of yep. sales and their focus has well, to go. That's normal. To be honest, mm-hmm. it hasn't been on prem. It has been us. I mean, not this <laughs> past year. Yeah. We didn't go away, who, people. Who cared to COVID? <laughs> and then Tolv said uh, the quality of the barrels, unknown club. Is, <laughs> it, it depends on the club, right? Like I didn't know that when I was going to buy the Wilderness Trail barrels that they were going to taste like ginger. Yeah. But it depends. It depends. But do on you the like club ginger? In the picks, I do in certain. <laughs> cases and if it's your puppy but um i know that's gotcha. what i was like it's like ginger but not in mccallan bottles yeah okay so. got it yeah no it just depends like uh, i guess you know hopefully i don't know if, if pierre does say this stuff when he does his picks but it's, it's, it'd be interesting to see if like they give you free reign or not because like yeah when i hear stories where a brand's like oh no they give you a list of things i'm like oh that's they're trying to sell stuff they can't or it couldn't go through their main stuff or maybe you'll find that honey barrel mm-hmm. But if you can yeah. just go willy nilly, that means like, okay, you know, the sky's the limit. You can pick whatever you want. You're gonna get those weird, unique, once in a lifetime casts that, yeah. right temperature, right place. So, I, I I'm on the same boat with you guys. Like, I am big fans of independent ballers because like, even when you mentioned Dalmore and stuff like that, like I love independent Dalmores. But imagine a community pick of a Dalmore that, that yeah. I know that could Oof. do really well, right? Like, Oof, or that that way, yeah. you know, everyday whiskeys, but you've had glimpses like with Westland, for instance, like I have glimpses of a port cast. I'm like, if they have another one back there, I'm like, that's my jam. So imagine your mm-hmm. favorite distillery, Glenfiddich, for instance, or whatever. And you have that weird random stuff. You're like, okay, this is the barrel that's in the back end. No one's really touched it. I already know what I want from them. It's fine. So, you know, I just, I'm not, I'm not rich. I'm not rich. So I can't be like, here's, here's $500,000. Let's get this done. But yeah, and then guys, I'm just going to bottle it. my own cast strength, cherry cast aged Glenfiddich 15 year old. Pick the first and say that helps. It also helps to get the story. Oh, so okay. ah, I gotcha. Well, guys, if you, ha- uh, if you have any um, uh, questions or suggestions on what barrel program or club you guys would like to um, take part in, please put it in the comments down below on YouTube. Um, Why are we going to partner with Pagusa and do a whiskey entitled barrel pick? It's if he's willing. Because I know a few distilleries up in the Pacific Northwest that I would love to talk to. So. Woohoo! But yeah, guys, um, be fun. and on that note, anything else? No, because we have to shorten the show yeah. today because Bianca has to get her beauty sleep, and I've been getting up at 4.30 in the morning lately to go to work, and I don't know what's wrong and with that's me. That's when I go to bed. Yeah, so, so do not blame it on me, Walter. Do not blame it on me. <laughs> it's actually Bianca's fault because I'm just going to go to bed at 10.30 or 11 as usual, but we're going to so, blame it on there you go. me. All right. All right, guys, and I'll on that note, page. sadly we won't be uh, – oh, maybe we'll pop in for a little bit. But, uh, a little post-show. Yeah. Calm down. All right, all right, all right. Del Mar is in. I think most of us. I think most I think of us enthusiasts be would be in. Yeah. All right, we've been right, doing guys. this. Deuces. Deuces.